Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a MIDI instrument drum track in Pro Tools Intro. Start Pro Tools Intro. Type in a session name, then click on Create. Click on the Maximize icon. Click on Track, then click on New on the pop-up menu. Click on Mono on the pop-up window and click on Stereo on the pop-up menu. Click on Audio Track and click on Instrument Track on the pop-up menu. Click on the name box and type in Drums. Then click on Create. Click on the first Insert slot. Click on Multi-Channel Plugin on the pop-up menu then click on Instrument on the pop-up menu. Then click on Expand To. Click on Factory Default on the Expand To window. Click on Drums on the pop-up menu. Then click on a drum kit. Here I will click on the Dry Studio set. Now click on the X icon to close the Expand 2 window. To open the Expand 2 window again, click on Expand 2 in the Inserts list. At the bottom of the screen, click on MIDI Editor. Move the mouse cursor to the top of the MIDI Editor pane, so the cursor turns into a double-headed arrow. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag up the screen to resize the MIDI Editor pane. Click on the plus icon at the bottom right of the MIDI Editor pane to zoom in horizontally on the grid. Click on the Zoom In icon at the top right of the MIDI Editor pane to zoom in vertically. At the left of the MIDI Editor pane, in the Tracks section, click on the dot to the left of the drum track name so the Edit icon appears to the right of the drum track name. Strangely, there appears to be no vertical scroll bar. If you have a mouse wheel, you can scroll up and down with that. Otherwise, hold the left mouse button on the keyboard area of the MIDI editor and drag the cursor up or down the screen to scroll up or down the keyboard. On the keyboard, each C note has a number on it. This is the octave number. The note with the number 1 on it marks the row on the grid for the kick drum. Click on the key notes to hear which sounds are on which row. Double click on the kick drum row to add a note. Place these four notes here on the grid to play the kick drum on each beat of the bar. Add notes two rows higher for the snare. Click on the play icon to play the beat. To loop the playback of the bar, right mouse click on the play icon and click on loop on the pop-up menu. Notice how the play icon has now changed to a loop play icon. Now move the mouse cursor to the beginning of the first bar on the ruler at the top of the MIDI editor pane and drag the mouse to the end of the first bar. So the first bar on the ruler is a darker grey. This will set the loop player to loop play the first bar only. To change the speed of the drum beat, click on the number to the right of the word tempo. And either type in a new number and press the enter key on your computer keyboard.
or hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse up or down the screen. To change the velocity of a note, which has the effect of changing the volume of the note, move the mouse to the divider line at the bottom of the MIDI editor pane, so it turns into a double-headed arrow. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag up the screen. Now click on the plus icon at the right side of the velocity pane. A vertical velocity line appears below each note. Click on the diamond at the top of the line to highlight the note it belongs to. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the diamond up the screen to increase the velocity and volume of the note. Or down the screen to decrease the velocity and volume of the note. To create a drum beat two bars long, click on the plus icon to zoom horizontally the track grid. Then move the mouse over the end of the MIDI clip on the drum track so it changes shape. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag to the right. The vertical lines on the track pane mark the end of each bar. Now add notes to the second bar. Notice that when you click on the loop play icon, it only plays the first bar. So move the mouse to the beginning of the first bar on the ruler at the top of the MIDI editor pane. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse cursor to the end of the second bar. So the ruler is highlighted dark grey across the two bars. To loop the drum beat along the drum track, right mouse click the MIDI clip on the drum track. Click on loop on the pop-up menu. Then click on OK. To make the loop longer or shorter, move the mouse to the end of the loop so it changes shape. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag left or right. You can loop play any section by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the mouse over the ruler at the top of the track pane. To turn off loop play, click the ruler at the top of the track pane so none of the ruler is highlighted a darker grey. Then right mouse click the loop play icon and click on loop on the pop-up menu. Finally, click on MIDI Editor to close the MIDI Editor pane.